There's three years to go until the Netball World Cup here in Sydney. There's been a big announcement at New South Wales Parliament House about funding and the lead up to the event. I'm going to go chat to some people. We are really excited. Nipple World Cups are something super special. Um, every player aspires to play in one, every coach wants to coach one, um, and every fan wants to come and watch one. So we're really happy that we're in Sydney in three years' time. We're really happy that our world champions, the Diamonds, will be trying to go get another trophy. Um, so no, we're, we're really excited to announce this today. It's so exciting for it to be on home soil. Yeah. Um, I think it's a massive opportunity for netball to kind of grow that scale and reach worldwide. And um, I think it's so good to inspire our next generation of netballers in Australia. And yeah, it's in a couple of years, which seems far away, but I think it'll come around real quick. It's so exciting that we're able to come to this function um, and really, I guess, start to promote the 2027 World Cup. I think netball's got so much untapped potential and so many things that we can do. And we've seen it happen with the Tillies. So hopefully we can make that happen for the Diamonds. In terms of like we saw with the FIFA Women's World Cup, getting a lot of the other states involved, like is there a plan to kind of get a lot of the other states involved in the action? Yeah, absolutely. I think what we talked about today was not just having the moment in Sydney, but making sure that moment lasts right yeah. across the country. So how do we put, I don't know what you've just seen, but England, just before this series now, have spent two and a half weeks in Perth. So how do we build each of these teams coming into Australia and then doing their preparation and then coming into Sydney for the event? So we're going to look at a whole range of different things to make sure that we capture as many fans right across the country um, and ensure that we get the maximum attendance during the 16 days that we're here. Mum and I were going through some old memorabilia kind of stuff the other day actually and we found my yeast. I'm not going to say what year it is, but a year at school I had like a report that I did on the weekend and it was talking about how I went to the Vixens versus oh. Thunderbirds grand final in 20, no, 2009, but maybe fact check. Fact okay, check okay. <laughs> yeah, um, and I was saying how excited I was and it was actually really cool to read that and really take me back because... I think you do kind of lose that um, memory of loving it so much and yeah I still love it now but to to think about back then I was a massive fan. And I guess we get to speak about the world the word like legacy as well like that's been spoken about a lot this morning in terms of the World Cup like but as a player like what does that actually like kind of mean for you guys? Yeah I think like to leave a legacy is something that's so special and something that I guess not a lot of players get to do and I think like it's all about what you want to make it to be and um, I guess how you use your platform and um, you being an athlete how you can I guess promote the sport promote what you're passionate about um, and I guess be a role model to kids to look up to. I feel like more pathways for Indigenous um, like netballers yeah, and we also do. like how exciting is it kind of seeing all that? <laughs> yeah I'm really we, we are really committed around that I don't know whether you saw but we had our very first First Nations tournament last weekend in Melbourne and we had eight states and territories with First Nations players across the whole of Australia and coaches and umpires. It's so special, Abby. Like, we provide a pathway for everyone to play. That's what we're here to do. And, like, for boys as well, like, yeah. I was just thinking, I feel like that's another, like, important one, especially when we're talking about Brisbane 2032. Like, I'll go to my local network courts and I'll see little boys playing as well, which is yeah. really cool. Like, why do you think that's also super important? I reckon because, you know what, we are a sport that's fun. Yeah. I think that I think that we can also be truly a team sport. So, actually, a person on the court can handle the ball lots. In other codes, sometimes you can be hidden on the wing or you can be here somewhere and you don't get your hands on the ball very much I think our game really attracts people who want to be hands on the ball and really participate the impact is ready we want to have more people playing as a result of seeing their idols and being inspired to play uh, I have to say we want to win the trophy like yeah, that's a, that, that's a given I reckon um, but we want to make sure that we set up netball to be played forevermore so how do we get more courts more facilities more people playing that's what the goal is